Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. Let's start with the Asian cues. Asian stocks are steady after technology shares spurred a Wall Street rally as Federal Reserve officials tried to soothe concern about inflation. U.S. markets close higher, and the bond yield is stabilizing at 1.60. The dollar index was uh, below the levels of uh, 90 and crude prices uh, gained little bit uh, as compared to their previous close. In fact, we saw some activity in aluminum as well as copper, which is positive for the market. Uh, yesterday, uh, if we go through with um, our markets, then um, we saw firm opening, but later on the market failed to gather momentum and it closed at an unchanged levels. Uh, it opened around 15,200 levels and it closed also. Uh, somewhere around the same levels. Uh, ahead of the FNO expiry, the market usually moves in a narrow range, in a, a narrow trading range. And uh, later on, we see some uh, trending activity. So yesterday, the market has formed doji star sort of formation. And today also, uh, we are of the view that um, uh, after consolidating little bit in the first half of the trading session, we are going to see either upward or downward activity but as the bias is bullish we are expecting upward activity in the market and um, we should be ready for that so initially we are expecting market to trade between the levels of 15,275 on the higher side and 15,125 on the downside in case if we see the market is breaking the levels of 15,125 then we can expect further more weakness but on the higher side above 15,275 uh, the Nifty uh, may even hit the levels of uh, 15,350 or 15,450 either today or tomorrow. So we should be ready for taking a breakout trade. But I also our advice is to buy on dips because the basic trend of the market is bullish. The Bank Nifty was also uh, yesterday very strong. Uh, it closed above the mark of 34,500 which is positive. The next level to watch out for would be uh, 35,000, 35,500. And on the downside, as we mentioned, 34,200 250 should be the level where we should look for adding position if there is any correction during the day. Today, we need to focus on uh, sectors like auto, uh, real estate, as well as infra stocks. Uh, we like uh, Maruti as well as Hero Motors based on their technical formation. Uh, from the real estate space, we are going to focus on um, Realty uh, uh, DLF especially as well as Shoba developers and from the infrastructure space uh, we like Cummins and Larson. So these are the stock on which we are technically bullish and based on their uh, reversal formation we will come out with recommendation. Uh, that's all from my side with this I am ending today's morning podcast. Thank you very much for listening in and have a great day to all of you.